Every day, people who prepare data for analysis struggle with formatting and structuring data for applications. Users report spending more time cleaning and sorting data than actually analyzing it. Data often arrives in massive amounts from different sources in various formats, further compounding the problem. The Universal Parsing Agent, UPA, helps solve tedious and time-consuming data manipulation chores. UPA easily handles large amounts of data from multiple high-volume data flows by extracting the needed data, enhancing it to make it more meaningful, and outputting it in the desired format and structure. Information is compiled in XML format, which is easily usable by most popular database programs, including Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, and Oracle databases. UPA also provides an ideal front-end information extraction and transformation tool for analysis software. This includes Pacific Northwest National Laboratory's award-winning information visualization tools, Inspire and Starlight. For multiple users, UPA can be installed on a network server and be available to all designated users. In this demonstration, we'll represent a marketing firm that wants to extract data from hundreds of company profiles to analyze for growth trends. Specifically, we'd like to extract the company name and revenue earned in the previous fiscal year. We have thousands of company reports, so it would take too long to pick out this information manually. Without UPA, we would need to create a new program designed specifically for our needs but UPA can easily be instructed to find the exact data we need and output it in the exact format we want. Our first step is to create a template. A template is a collection of fields, such as company name, website, and location that is created to match the user's particular needs. We populate each field with the steps that are necessary to identify the desired data for that field. We'll start by populating the name field. We begin by clicking on the input bin. Now we select some sample profiles to work with on our template. We can ask UPA to make a suggestion about how to extract company names by highlighting the field company name and the value we'd like to extract from the document, which is the company's actual name. In this case, UPA recommends a pattern description, a way to identify data based on how characters are presented in the document. We add the pattern description step, and UPA now recognizes and extracts all company names based on this description. Each time UPA sees company name, colon, it will extract the information that follows it. We can use the same process to extract the company's revenue. We highlight the revenue field and the $10.5 million from the company report. UPA again recommends a pattern description. We add the pattern description step, and UPA now recognizes and extracts all revenues based on this description. In addition to pattern descriptions, we can also use start and end tags. For example, here we want to capture all of the information between the heading Company Description, and the Heading Overview. First, we add the Delineator step for location to our template. Next, we type Company Description into the Start field. Then we type Overview into the End field. UPA will extract all information between the Start and the End tags. The data extracted for the selected field will be highlighted in yellow. Now let's go to a template where all the fields have been filled in. In this example, the company lists five areas. By using start and end tags, we set up our template so that the entire list was extracted. It appears yellow. We could also split up the information on this list by using the splitter step. In this case, we want to separate the list by lines, so we type in the characters that designate a hard return. When multiple pieces of data are extracted, UPA identifies them by alternating between dark and light yellow highlighting. UPA can also split up a series, separated by semicolons, slashes, or other delineators. Once we've added a step, we can quickly test the step using a different sample document. 
UPA quickly moves between sample documents to visually verify that the steps are working correctly. Even though both lists contain different areas, UPA correctly extracts from each profile. UPA rapidly identifies errors by continually updating status information as it parses data. It also provides a user-friendly way to respond to errors. When a document that's flowing through the system errors, it is delivered to a wait bin. UPA users can check the wait bin for bad documents by clicking on Wait. Then users can open the bad documents and find the errors. In this example, one of the documents we are parsing uses company title instead of company name. Our template can't find company title because we used company name as the pattern description. With UPA, it is easy to change the template to handle these variations. Here we return to the original template and add company title as a pattern description. Now UPA will capture any data following company title or company name. We can also make corrections manually by highlighting the problem value and saving it to the XML file. UPA allows us to see where each piece of information was extracted from a document. In addition, we can view the results in XML format. UPA does what no other data parsing software can do. It empowers users to specify the exact data they need and the desired presentation format and structure. UPA's key innovation, simple and rapid customization, reduces information overload and saves time and money.